guys, so in this video, or the next couple videos, I should say, we are going to learn how to uh, restore damaged or old photographs, okay? So you can bring your own photographs in for this. However, I do have some examples or some sample photos that you can use if you don't have any old photographs. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to open up our image. So there's a couple ways you can open your files. You can go to File, Open, or you can click on Open. And then you're going to locate where you downloaded your file. We're going to start with Ina the Ballerina. So this photo was taken back in like the 1930s, 1940s. It's pretty old, right? And it's got some damage on it. Uh, the first thing we need to do is actually rotate this image. So what we're going to do is go to the Rotate tool. So to find the Rotate tool, you're going to locate your Transform Controls. So you're going to go to Image image rotation and you're going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise and this will get our image upright. I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just a little bit. Control minus will zoom out. Just kind of center it on my artboard. All right, looks good. All right, now that we've rotated it, what we're going to do next is uh, we're going to kind of crop it up a little bit. So we're going to use our crop tool. So our crop tool is located right here. I'm going to click and hold this open. I'm going to actually straighten it out first. So remember, we learned how to use the straighten tool. So I'm going to click on the level. And then what I'm going to do, instead of going this way, I'm going to drag down the edge of my image and uh, go ahead and do that. And then hit the com um, confirm button. I am going to go ahead and pull this in just a little bit more to pull in from the top edges and I'm not sure why I'm not seeing my uh, let's see so I don't want to delete the cropped pixels uh, let's not do content aware I'm not sure why I'm not seeing my um, crop tool my crop options here Okay, I don't know what was going on, but I wasn't seeing my, my transform controls, so that's that's what I was looking for. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of pull this in just a little bit. I'm going to get rid of the white edges around the border. I don't want to get rid of this little piece. I'm going to actually leave that because we're going to fix it. All right, so once I pull this in and I get rid of the white border, I'm going to go ahead and confirm that and um, crop that image. I still have some pieces up here. We can fix that in just a second. Okay, so something I really want to talk about uh, just quickly is the delete cropped uh, pixels button. So before um, Photoshop in previous versions didn't have this option. And when we cropped it, it would crop out pixels and it would be, that would be it. We couldn't go back to change it. Um, but now we have this option to either check or uncheck this bot button. I like to often leave it unchecked because if I need to go back and add um, pixels that I've maybe cropped, um, this is a good option to be able to have. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing uh, it on here while I'm working through this picture, but you can see as I move through, my entire image is now back. So um, I just like to leave that unchecked. If you do cro delete cropped pixels, what that's going to do, it's going to get rid of them forever and you won't be able to go back and fix them. So this is a non-destructive button to leave unchecked um, to do the, um, the cropping with your image. So again, I'm just going to kind of shift this a little bit. I am not sure what is going on. Original ratio, ratio. Yeah, I don't know why it's not. It, it, my crop tool is being weird. So, Okay, so I'm just going to pull this in just a little bit and hit the commit button up here. All right, that looks good. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start editing our photograph. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and adjust our photo. So we're going to go to uh, Image Adjustments, and we're going to click on Levels. All right, so when we bring up our levels, we get this kind of histogram with what this is called. And um, you can see there's no information over here on this side. This is where our blacks are. 
and over here is where our whites are in our image. You can see that this piece right here spikes way, way up, and it's doing that because it's looking at this little piece right here, and it's saying, hey, there's this really bright piece of your image, um, and the image is kind of faded, so it, it's picking up a lot of whites. So what we're going to do, you can either hit auto and see what happens, okay, that looks okay, and you can see that it brought this triangle over to this first peak right here of the blacks. Okay, that's pretty good. But what we need to do now is kind of bring some whites back in because this is pretty dark now. So what we're going to do is just kind of drag this over and add some whites back in there. And you can see where I'm going to place my triangle. It's probably at the start of that little graph. Okay, and that's saying, okay, these are where your whites are really starting to show. Okay, so that looks pretty good right about there. And then I'm going to hit OK. All right, so you can see that that did a destructive edit, right? So it didn't, it's not going to let me go back and fix it. So how to go back and fix it is to undo, so Control Z, and I can go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, and then go to Levels. Okay, and then hit OK. And then just do the same thing. I can hit Auto again and then just bring this back over to right about there. All right, that looks pretty good. Now we can go ahead and start uh, fixing the damaged areas on this photo. All right, so let's go ahead and start right here by fixing this hole. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this image. So Control Plus will help me zoom in. And when you're doing this, you kind of want to be zoomed in because um, you really want to be able to fix all of the damaged pieces. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go through these selection tools really quick. So on this first one, we've got our rectangular marquee, elliptical marquee, single row, and single column. Okay, these make selections. We're going to go through those in a little bit in a different assignment. Then we have our lasso, polygonal, and magnetic lasso. All right, so for this option, um, this corner is kind of awkward, so I'm going to go ahead and just use my freeform lasso tool. And what that does, it allows me to just draw a shape. So your shape is going to start where that triangle is. Okay, it's not going to start where the circle or the that little rope looking thing is. So what I'm going to do is just click and drag along the edge and then just make a freeform shape around this option. Then I'm going to go up here to edit and I'm going to go to fill. And where it says content, I'm going to make sure that it's set to content aware. Okay, this is going to say, hey Photoshop, Look around this image and find pixels to fill in this section. So I'm going to hit OK. And let's see what happened. Oh, you know what happened? Because I was on this levels um, uh, layer, it's not going to work. So what I need to do is I'm actually going to flatten this image. So let me go ahead and merge these layers. So I'm going to select both of them. So I'll click on my first one, click on my last one, right click, and hit Merge Layers. All right, so again, I just destructively edited that photograph, and now I cannot go back and um, change those levels at all. All right, so let's try that again. So let's go to Edit, Fill, Content Aware, and hit OK. All right, it looks OK. I have some, op some uh, spots here that I may need to go back and refill in, and that's OK. Edit, try it again. And you can see that the shortcut is Shift, and the lit and F5. So let's try that. So if I go, uh, let's see, uh, Shift and F5, Content Aware. Okay, it's it's not doing what I wanted it to do. Sometimes that happens, and then we can always come in here to our healing brush tool. If I go to pet the patch tool, I can click and kind of drag this down or over, and that actually did what I needed it to do. Okay, so there's a couple ways to do this, to fix this. Now I'm just going to scroll through the rest of this image and let me kind of close some of this stuff out. And using my hand tool or the space bar, so I'm holding the space bar and that brings up the hand and then I can click the mouse and drag my, my image around. Um, for most of these parts on here, the spot healing brush tool is probably going to be the tool that actually... Uh, does the job. So I'm going to leave my mode set to normal, make sure it's set to content aware, 
and then I'm going to go ahead and increase my brush size. So using the bracket keys, the right bracket will increase the size, the left bracket will decrease. The bracket keys are next to the letter P on the keyboard. And then I can just come in here and just start drawing over these damaged parts of the photo. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go through, and I want you to go through this entire photo. There's a lot of like specks and white dots on here, just from old damage. Um, but I want you to take your time, go through the image, and properly fix everything that is uh, damaged. Okay, so we're going to kind of restore it even along this edge here. Okay, so I have this edge right here and I'm probably going to have to use the patch tool for that one because I didn't crop it enough. So I'm going to use the patch tool and I'm going to click and drag it over and that filled it in. Okay, you kind of see that it did kind of shift it a little bit and honestly, um, unless somebody, let me try it again, um, actually like knows this photo well which is you know if you were editing this for a family member or a friend you would obviously want to make sure that it was right so you can just go in there and try to clean it up and fix it a little bit all right so you're just going to repeat that process go through the entire image clean up all of these damaged spots when you're all done you are going to save your file as a JPEG so and even on her dress so there's spots here on her dress that you'll need to go in and fix and heal so when you're done you're going to save your file so go to file save as uh, make sure to name it your first initial last name you can leave Ina the ballerina at the end just when you temples w temples underscore and then um, we're not going to have any layers here, so we could actually hit save, OK, and then file, export, and then just do a quick export as PNG or JPEG, whichever you have saved, and then um, leave that, and then hit save. OK, so turn in your PNG or JPEG file, whichever one you have defaulted to be saved, and then I want you to go through, if you have some extra time uh, during class, go through and there are some more images here for you to edit. Okay, photo one, two, and three after Ina the ballerina.